Okay, we're now going to learn how to find the area of a trapezium. The area of a trapezium, we follow a formula just like all the area of other shapes. However, I've noticed that a lot of students, when they are working out the area of a trapezium, they can't identify whether the shape is a trapezium or not. So first, we're going to learn how to identify if a shape is a trapezium. Let's look at the diagrams. A trapezium, the property it has the feature it has is that it has one pair of parallel lines. That's it, one pair. So if you see a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, and it has one pair of parallel lines, straight away think this is a trapezium. This is how we find out and we identify whether a shape is a trapezium or not. Whenever you think or you see a shape, a four-sided figure, and it has one pair of parallel lines, you know straight away it is a trapezium. So here, let's look at one example of a trapezium. This here we can see that this is a four-sided shape. And does it have one pair of parallel lines? Yes, it does. Marked with an A and a B. This is a trapezium. Another way. We have another shape. Four-sided. Does it have one pair of parallel lines? Yes, it does. Again, marked with A and B. Another shape. We can see here, again, a four-sided shape. One pair of parallel lines. Again, it's a trapezium. A trapezium has one pair of parallel lines. Once we identify that a shape is a trapezium, it has one pair of parallel lines, we can use the formula for a trapezium. The formula is half times h, which is the height, and then in brackets, a plus b. In brackets, A plus B. This is simple. The A and B are the two parallel lines. The A and B are the two parallel lines. Once we can identify the A and B, the parallel lines, the height is the difference between the A and the B. The difference between the A and the B. So we can see A and B are the parallel lines. We can also see the H marked in red. It is the difference in the distance between the two parallel lines and it is marked with a H. Very important. Once you can identify it's a trapezium, you then look for the parallel lines. A and B are the parallel lines and the H, the height, is the difference between the distance between A and B, as you can see, marked with a red H to identify the height between the A and B. So the formula half times H brackets A plus B close bracket. We have the formula. It is simple. However, now we're going to use some examples to work them out. Again, look for a trapezium. How do you know it has one pair of parallel lines? Let's do some examples now. Okay, now let's work out the area of a trapezium. Looking at the figure first, we can see that we have two parallel lines. Parallel line, parallel line. Straight away we can identify this is a trapezium. It has one pair of parallel lines. These two are not parallel. We have one pair of parallel lines. Straight away we know this is a trapezium. We know the formula now. A equals half H A plus B. A stands for the area, half times the height, and A plus B are in brackets. We need to know and easily identify the A and B. All the time, the A and B are the parallel lines. Whenever you see a trapezium, the A and B are the parallel lines. A and B. A and B or A and B. It doesn't really matter as long as you know A and B are the parallel lines. Now the H. The height is always the vertical height. We always mention when we're working with area and we're working with height, it is always the vertical height, straight down. This is the vertical height, not this one here. This is slanting. This is our vertical height. It meets the base or it meets the bottom with right angle. So we know it is vertical, it is 90 degrees, it is perpendicular. So perpendicular meaning it is 90 degrees. 
it meets 90 degrees there. That is our height, that is our H. So this is our H, this is our A, and this is our B, this side there. We can now work it out. Area equals half times the height. The height is 5. It's the difference, it's the distance between the two parallel lines. The distance between the two parallel lines. H is 5. A plus B. A is 10 and B is 8. Okay, put it in your calculator. Half times 5 times 10 plus 8, close the bracket. We know we get our answer. Once you put it in, straight away you're going to get 45. And we know the measurements are in centimetres. 45 square centimetres. That's the area, everything inside this trapezium, 45 square centimetres. Very easily, half times 5, open bracket, 10 plus 8, close the bracket. Put it in your calculator, 45 square centimetres. Remember, we always put our units and its area, so we have to put squared. Very important. This is our answer for the first trapezium. Now let's do another one. Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends.